totem is a symbol of identity represented by a natural and usually living thing. Cultural groups that obey a particular totem hold the representative animal or object sacred. It is therefore taboo for that group of people to denigrate their totem in any way. A totem may be a particular species of bird, animal, plant, a natural phenomenon, or a feature of the landscape with which an animal or a group believes itself to be linked in some way. Africans usually use totems to identify each other or as terms of respect. Totems are also used to recite praises in appreciation of good deeds. Here, a father recites the totem of his son, Tanaka, in thanks for the boy's hard work in the family garden. Naturally, Tanaka is impressed with the praises his father is chanting for him. Though visibly tired, he continues working in the garden. Tanaka's father is not sitting. He is reciting the boy's totem, identifying him with the brand of his tribe, the Ngomos or cattle. Loosely translated, Tanaka's totem would be something like, Hail the cow who comes from down south. We are grateful to you, the one who holds sacred the bull that died during castration. Oh Chuma, we are grateful to you, Gonde the board. Those who bath in milk, for the water is contaminated. Oh fine lad, those who dipped the smoldering log into water, and it came out burning. All of Tanaka's siblings, his father and his ancestors, whom he never saw, share the same totem. By that virtue, Tanaka also knows he is related to everyone whose totem is Ngomo Mzansi, even though he is not biologically connected with them. But what essence do totems serve? Can one buy a totem? Is it acquired or imposed? And by whom? Totems are normally used by, especially in the village, use totems to identify themselves and uh, know that um, this one belongs to so and so. In fact, I think it's interrelated with the relationship. If a baby is there any other surname or totem that links me with this person, or I'm just a separate person like the Lovos, the Svandas, they, they, they identify themselves with kind of animals. Maybe I would not be very convinced as how they started, but I know it's solely for identification purposes to know who this person is. And at the same time, it's a respect sort of, I don't expect to be called by my name. I expect to be called by my, my, my totem. Today, some Zimbabwean communities, especially those with strong communal links, still place an important ritual if not a religious value on totems as a source of identity and an index of human relationships. Some of the animals commonly recognized as totems in Zimbabwe include the buffalo, the zebra, the baboon, the ox, the lion, the elephant, or part of the anatomy, of any animal, for instance, the leg. Many surnames derive from totems. Examples are Ziva, which is a pool, Bebe, flat land, Nguenya, crocodile, Dube, zebra, Mofu, Ompofu, Eland, Hove, Fish, Sibanda or Shumba, Lion, Komo, Ox, Soko, Monkey, Nyati, Buffalo, and Lovu or Jo, Elephant. Many people use these surnames in Zimbabwe today. For women, the totem is prefixed with ma, 
which is the same as Miss or Lady. Therefore, females in the Ngwenya tribe would be Ma Ngwenya. Those in the Moyo totems would be Ma Moyo and the Svandas, Ma Svanda. In African tradition, even long after a woman got married, she continued to carry her family's totem and to be identified by it. Zimbabwean author Virginia Piri believes this should be the norm. Instead of a woman becoming Mrs. something when she marries. This being called Mrs. So and So with some of us, we still find a problem with it because you phone a place and somebody will ask you, and you're Mrs. You go to a reception and you're Mrs. And I said, no, I'm not Mrs. I have my name. In other words, I'm also trying. Of course, I'm not going as far as the totems if it's something official in offices. But in the black community, women have always been known as Mangobe, Mambambo, Masbanda, and they've always kept their name. I'm one of those who still prefers to be me. You see, I am married. My name, the name of my husband is Fibek. But I choose to use Piri because I believe that an African woman will keep their, their name. I still belong to my people. When I die, what do you do with me? Don't you call my people? Can you bury me without my people? Do you know what to do?